What happens when 800 of the world's most elite footballers and their managers live together under one roof? Players stop being polite and start getting real. This is the Champions. This isn't my first rodeo. I've lost the Champions League final before, and I can do it again. I mean, come on. I may be evil, but I'm not Super League evil. Harry, would you ever consider moving to another club? Can you elaborate on that a little? Please. It's always always at the wheel, and never only how do you feel. Still, I'm almost done. Is this really necessary? I can't move my arms. Good, then you can't break them. I swear if I lose one more player, I'm going to have to come out of retirement. And nobody wants to see that. <sighs> done. Now, let's go salvage what we can from this dumpster fire of a season. This is unacceptable. Who put the staircase here? And why is the window open? It's too windy. Uh, let's see. I blame you. I blame you. And most of all, I blame you. You f You stupid f with your f f You f f You so f with your ugly f Uh, boss. I think you need some help. You want to tell us what happened today? Ugh. Apparently, I'm unhinged and you can't yell at the staircase and therapy would be good for me. You are here because you are very angry. I am here because I suddenly have a lot of time on my hands. Today, I will teach you my special method for taking your anger and channeling it into mind games and vengeance. Simeone, what makes you angry? I don't know. You, this room, this, this, everything. Sporting directors. Maybe I'm just fed up with the fixture list. I'm fed up with people complaining about the fixture list. I used to be like you guys, but thanks to these meetings, it's been 14 years, nine months, three weeks, and three days since my last headbutt. I think I'm in the wrong room. You, stand up. You never match my achievements at Chelsea or Inter. You always buy old and useless players. Your hair is not real and don't even get me started on match fixing. <laughs> uh, is this an exercise? No, but that is a very good idea. Now we must each find our own special way of managing our rage. For me, I prefer not to speak. If I speak, I'm in big trouble. So uh, what do you do? See, instead of speaking, I wrote my feelings down and now I feel much better. Okay, how does it make you feel when you have two players near the touchline? It's a short five meter pass, but the runner doesn't go and the ball goes into touch. What are you doing? We worked on this! Okay, this is not going to work. Let's try something else. Escape, go, ting. It's no good being angry at everything. You have to be angry at something very, very specific. What if you love all your players equally? Then this next activity may be for you. We're going to take an object and use it as a punching bag for our feelings. Who wants to go first? Twice! Twice! I feel like I'm not being heard when you... This is a bigger disaster than my third season at... I guess anywhere. Let's spice things up with a little role play. Zizu, clap! Up here! Now! Clap. You be you. Zidane, you be a reporter. It's a simple exercise. All you have to do is answer the questions and not say anything that will get you fined. Go. <clears throat> is the Premier League doing enough to take care of your players? What do you think? I, yeah. Uh... What kind of question is that? It's an awful question, a silly question. Do I look like the Premier League? You want me to speak for them? I'm just trying to do my job. Really? Because it seems like you're trying to provoke me, but I can provoke you too. Marco Matarazzi. Uh-oh. Oh, stop it! You respect me! You respect the You know, I'm glad I came here today because I learned something pretty cool. 
If you bottle up your anger, it's just a matter of time till you explode. It's much better to freak out in the moment. Don't smash the wall, smash that like button and subscribe to PR Football for more outrageous videos! Ugh!